Dr. Biskin, um, let's talk about a, a, a situation or a, 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 um, which is um, um, which I don't quite understand sometimes. There is all those patients, and you know, I'm one of them. And here we sometimes have a two for two or three missing somewhere in the back, and that they're missing for a long time, years, and it appears that nothing bad is happening. It's just okay, it's there, and maybe here and there a little problem with uh, right. getting food stuck out. But then there is you dentists who say, you've got to replace those teeth, otherwise all hell breaks loose. So what's that difference? You, 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 you dentists are so eminent about replacing them, and we kind of don't see much happening. So why would we spend money uh, to replace it when it doesn't feel bad to us? Well, you... Now, but what happens is, you know, the short-term patients don't see things happening. They don't see the tooth moving. They don't see the teeth shifting. Uh, when you have missing teeth, a number of things can happen. Uh, one is obviously the teeth will gradually shift and change positions, and that's going to affect how they all interrelate to each other. It's like a nice little puzzle, and the puzzle's not going to work well together anymore. And things will happen in a negative way. Um, it could be food getting jammed in areas, uh, the bite won't work, it could affect their joint in the way that their teeth mesh and then the actual joint itself by the ear over here, the TMJ could cause problems. They also could start losing bone uh, when they don't replace missing teeth because they're not functioning in the area. Uh, so the sooner you think about replacing missing teeth, the better you're going to be uh, for the long term even though in the short term you're not really seeing anything detrimental. I see. So what you're saying here is that um, um, it's a little bit like with a fence. If you have, a, you know, you have all those fence poles and if one or two or three are missing, the fence becomes ineffective, even ugly looking, and it, 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 the, the, the things start playing piano. Or like something I can relate to from, let's say, mechanical machinery engineering, if you, if you have a couple cogwheels out aligned or, or missing, the whole machine starts for sure sooner or later, usually sooner cracking. And so what you're saying is, you you know, like you have those hinges here. They are a little bit like like door hinges or like uh, That's right. cogwheels, mm -hmm. whatever. And so when this all becomes out of alignment, what you what you what you're saying is that um, you can look ugly. That's I think what you said. You can like you know look crooked, and and you get all kinds of. Um, you said your bite gets out of alignment. I guess that's part of it. And when that happens. Is that maybe why some people have um, uh, headaches, uh, neck pain, shoulder pain, kind of like the tensions that this area brings all the way to the muscles left and right? Does that have something to do with it? That is something. Uh, you're absolutely right. You know, I always use the analogy, an archway that's made of bricks that's in a U shape. And if you take the last brick out at the bottom, it's not going to affect the arch. But if you take a brick out anywhere in between that arch, the archway of that walkway is going to collapse, and um, you're going to have things starting to fall apart. And the TMJ is is the the joint itself that hooks that holds the jaw to the skull. And when things are out of a line, the joint itself uh, is not happy, and the patients come in in a lot of discomfort from the misalignment of of that joint. So uh, you are right in saying that the TMJ and then all the muscles around the joint. Are, are not happy and uh, it, it affects their neck, it goes to their shoulders. So one little missing tooth over time, if not rectified early, can cause a, a pyramid of other things to happen later on. And, mm. uh, and then sometimes it's too late because the teeth have shifted too much. Uh, and then you have to deal with the pain associated with it. And uh, we don't want patients to have to come in at that point. Right. Now, so would it be wise, prudent for a person who, let's say, has headaches, has, uh, you know, neck pains on and off and has tried a few things, didn't quite go away, and uh, maybe has some missing teeth, maybe he even doesn't, because I'm sure teeth can shift even if you don't have missing teeth. Uh, but let's assume he has some. Would it be wise for that person to go to a dentist who understands the alignment of teeth and um, and, uh, and and is well worse than it to say, can you check me because maybe my headaches and my muscle tensions come from that. Yes, and there are patients that come to me that uh, are complaining of all those things: uh, headaches, earaches, neck pain, and they've been to the ENT gentlemen, the the, the physicians. They've been to uh, specialists, uh, neurologists. 
and it's really related to chiropractors. And some of that might be true. It might not have anything to do with the way the teeth are meshing or the joints. But in many cases, we can help those kind of patients. And um, if we work on things with the bite and alleviating some of the, the, the muscle spasms that are going on, some of these patients feel quite good. There's special devices that we use that they can actually bite on while they're sleeping. It relieves all the discomfort on the muscles in the back. And all of a sudden, they start seeing... Uh, their pain go away. Not everybody, but uh, it's very uh, easy to do and uh, it's non-invasive. And um, so, yes, uh, it would be advisable if you're having those kind of things to seek the services of, of your dentist and to have that looked at to see if that is causing some of your symptoms. Right. Well, because, you know, um, running around with, with headaches and with, 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 you know, can't turn your head, shoulder pain, neck pain, uh, even if it's, uh, you know, lots of people get used to that stuff and they kind of have it all the time, um, but it must be deteriorating, it must be taking away from your life experience every day, from your ability to work and, and, and from your ability to sleep and all kinds of things. So at the very worst or at the very best, a dentist can eliminate it. He can say, look, it is the problem, or look, it isn't the problem. You've got to keep looking. <laughs> right? Uh, yes, that's true, and it's very easy to, to test these things out. And, you know, so many people lose work time because of extreme uh, migraines and neck pains and occupational things. Um, and, you know, when we look at a patient's jaw, we don't just look at the joint. We look at their posture, the occupation they have, the way the teeth mesh together, the way they're, they're sitting. Uh, you know, sometimes a chiropractor would help. Sometimes we might need to have a massage therapist help them. And it could be a combination of things. Right. Uh, but it is important that you do eliminate that if there is a dental uh, problem associated with it, that it should be looked at. And, and it's very easy to correct. Wonderful. Well, I appreciate your candidness. Uh, very informative, uh, Dr. Uh, Biskin, and um, speak welcome, to you another Robert. time. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye now.